folks, and welcome back You're to Monster Back Prom. after a little bit of um, time for me to like think about myself and go to therapy and and talk it out with a lot of people to to figure out you know who I wanted and and how to love myself again. I, I'm, I'm back. really glad that you've so thoroughly gotten over your romantic crushing. Um, um, when we say got over, <laughs> all of the professionals said I should really just le- leave just, her be. But you're like, I'm just gonna respect lean her in. wishes. But no, I'm I'm going to live and I'm going for Miranda again. Okay, so here's the current status, everyone. Uh, Short One has decided that he wants to pursue Miranda again. <laughs> um, I will be honest, I've actually played more Monster She's Prom in my so off much, hours. And I've played none. That's not true. I did two more games. Uh, but I am currently undefeated in love. I have gotten to uh, somebody to go to the prom with me every single time. Oh, I'm Gina. So, I'm so attractive and lovable and wanted by all. So Man. what I will say is Piece that um, I'm now... I've, <laughs> Uh, I've dated Polly and Damien as well. You're the hot friend nobody wants to have. Because everybody goes for the them thing, when I, you're like, I'm pleasant to be around. I like that enough <laughs> that I'm not going to contest it. Um, but basically, uh, because of that, I'm probably going to go a bit hog wild in this particular so, game. So this next game is a quest for Gina to find some cool, fun stuff to do and for Jake to win back his love. I think that's completely accurate. Yes. Uh, all right, I'm going to be... Well, okay, actually... Let me. Well, I Is guess. I guess this is just Does who I am now. Does the person you are affect anything? Uh, Probably not really. Not. Oh, okay, let me go She's ahead. She's wondering if there were the, secrets. Can I? Yes, I can. Um, we don't have cool. uh, remote this time, so Gina's just in charge of the computer, and I'm gonna tell her what to do. Do you want to be your girl again? Of course, I want to be my girl. Look at how perfect she is. Okay. Um, Custom blue, name, and that's gonna be lowercase R. Yeah. Osco. There yes. you go. So, so. I, what's very funny is, and something we didn't exper- expect, is that this series became one of our most successful series really ever. Yeah, which kind of out of nowhere, which was a little shocking. Um, but um, but because of that, a lot of people I saw in the comments um, didn't fully understand the Roscoe thing. Which, because we, it's like an ongoing joke, I feel like we don't have to explain it. But just so you know, everything's name is Roscoe. If cockroaches are Roscoe. Well, if you are unnamed, you are Roscoe. So Gina is not Roscoe. She's Gina. But my computer's Roscoe. Because <laughs> I didn't name my computer. This has been just a thing in, like, my I guess life. generally our family at this point for I most just, of your life. It's been... I've been doing it since I was, like, 13. It was, like, an inside joke with a friend. And then I just took it way too seriously. And I made everyone do it. Okay. Ultimately, the point is, there's not a very good reason for Roscoe. There's no reason. So, because of that, we're going to go ahead and jump into the game. So, uh, it is quiz time. We have to decide our stats before we actually begin playing. So, uh, let's see. If you could put a curse uh, on your worst enemy, what would it do? The curse is always meeting obnoxious people at parties who are super into new fad diets <laughs> that feel the need to explain them in detail. That's evil. Yep. Truly evil. You can't rely on the effectiveness of a curse. I prefer to take care of my enemies the old-fashioned way, by exposing them to unsafe doses of radiation over the course of several <laughs> years. That's uncomfortable. And uh, I'd curse them to fall in love with a wonderful person and be happily married for years before they realize that all this time their partner was a wild panther in disguise. <sighs> Then the panther viciously, viciously devours my enemy. Classic. Look, hey, honey, there's something we need to know. Oh, he's cute. He's got designer glasses, though. So he does. Maybe that's um, why, you know, your enemy fell in love I with I think her. I like this one, because it's the long con, you know? I get it. I get it. Um, I'm going to do the diet, because that seems like my hell, considering I like to eat. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You're charming. Oh, and man, we're on our way. Me and my girl. <laughs> Um, if you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? A swan. They're classy. Plus, it reminds me of that myth of Lita and the swan, so at least in my bestiality standards, it has a certain chic appeal. Okay. And then a human being, because I'm the kind of douchebag who loves to find loopholes and stupid questions like this one. Um, and then last, a great white shark. If I have to fuck an animal, let's at least make it a, a story worth telling. That's good to Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that's going to be boldness at the bottom. Yeah. Middle is going to be intelligence, probably. Probably. And top is probably going to be charm. So I'm going to do charm. So okay. top. That was you! That was me! All, we're both going to do We're spot, both doing that one. Are we oh, uh, The shark was charming? Sure. All right. Uh, uh, Sorry, If you were Gina. an ice cream flavor, which flavor would you be? Success, meat, tequila and Coke, uh, spicy <laughs> chocolate, no, face. chocolate on fire, rainbows and gummy bears, and uh, double cream de la gruyere with meringue. 
Yeah. <laughs> Labor of success. I want the marae. Okay. I'm just talking about something yeah. I honestly like. Congratulations. No. no. You had to realize that was your my boy, I guess. I'm not going for him, so I don't care if I've already lost. All right, right. I think Liam's awful. Let's see. So I'm not very fun. Um, wait a sec. I want to see how to do certain things. Uh, how do I... Hmm. So I'm trying to figure out... There's, like, things that I know how to do on, um, the... Wait, so there's shit tons of secrets in this game, right? Yeah, there are. How do I... How do I do... What are you trying to check? This. I was okay. trying to do this. So I noticed this while I was playing before, which we just didn't see, which is that you actually can identify what each area gives oh, you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Neat. So, okay. um, I'm not very fun... Um, and part of me feels like I should double down on the things I'm good at, but I'm going to start off by making myself just a little more fun, uh, to balance things out. Okay. Do you know what your plan is, or are you just going to- I don't. I don't have a plan. Okay. I, like, are you going for secrets? We're going to see going... who I run into first, and then past that- I think Lena, hopefully, or I don't remember if that's her name. Uh, um, Vera? Her. Yeah. Lena. I don't know. So hopefully, um... I can run into some secrets. I don't know how to trigger them, per se. They just sort of seem to happen. Okay, this will be yeah. one more where we do it. And maybe the next one we could, like, take a look at some secrets. And, maybe, like, see yeah. Me. Yeah. We'll be playing this blind-ish and then past that... Well, all bets are off, I'm I feel still like. totally yeah. blind at this point, okay. other than my love for Miranda. Okay, so that day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. Nice, nice, uh, nice. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. That's a lot of people. Yeah. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad Isn't party. Isn't this during school? <laughs> it sure is. Okay, you see Miranda and Vera Ooh, chatting away. If you even try to flirt with Miranda, I will. Look at how perfect she is back there. <laughs> uh, I, you were you were Vera, I think. Oh no. She's all hissy <laughs> all right. or whatever. Crowd surfs isn't doing nearly as well as I thought it would. Oh, if it isn't Roscoe. Would you like me to be a customer? Once upon a time, surfs were the uh were only for the rich and fabulous, like Vera and myself. But now, thanks to our app, Crowd Surfs, you too can have your very own crowdfunded surf. The app is being generously funded by my royal fa Oh my god, her eyes. Yep, <laughs> she's amazing. Royal family, who wish for everything to experience the joys of royalty. And get richer off of it. I think our business might be failing because the surfs are simply not of high enough quality to maintain customer interest. The serfs need to have more enthusiasm for their jobs. We need to recruit from the right locations. Don't be absurd. If there was one thing about thing being royalty has taught me. Good job. <laughs> thank you. And there's definitely more than one. It's that you can trick anyone into doing anything as long as you give them the right incentives. But why not start with the easily manipulated in the first place? Roscoe, what do you think? Fair is that a dig? I think it's a dig. Or do you actually want my opinion? Uh, Fair is right. Why not recruit people who want to be bossed around at the Leather Daddy convention? Oh, damn. <laughs> and Honestly? Miranda has a point. Everyone wants to win. Host an unpaid labor competition where the prize is doing more unpaid labor. Yes. Okay. So here's the problem. My stats all suck. Uh, actually, I guess they're all okay for, for the first question. Yeah, you're doing all right. It's it's beginning of the game. <laughs> I hate you. I Bring really, it on. Bring really, it on. Gina, this is not a competition at this point. This is the difference between my heart being broken and your brother being happy. Well, unfortunately, I feel like you're... Heart is already broken, it and you're already proven. But maybe that she'll off me this not, time. You can't be trusted so like, with her heart. So I don't know how so, this game works, but it feels like I've already lost my chance with Miranda. Just you doing this. We'll see. I don't know. All right. I don't know. I oh, actually don't know. What a delightful idea. It's, no, that's not true. So it seeds it with. Um, you're probably not going to get her for the first one. Uh -huh. But basically, that final question seeds it with one plus point towards somebody, and the more points you have, the more likely they are to show up. Yeah. So if you like at lunch sit with Miranda, um, you probably can get some points back. So what it said in the comments was that I was missing money, um, but I, I was also with her almost every time. So I'm just trying to figure out. It's a combination of stats and, and how many points. points you have and things like that. So, Interesting. Um, okay, so yeah. It's go. true that for those who are not born to fame, gaining it or watching others gain it is a favorite pastime. I'll have my press agent advise. 
Oh, I just burped a little bit. Sorry. Advertise. Advertise. It was I burped because yep. I said it wrong. Advertise it as the hottest competition since Monstropolis is next top terror. Mm. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and so, who wants to be an unpaid laborer is born. People compete their hardest at various demeaning tasks, and the winner gets to continue to perform them as a serve. Nice. There you are, my most loyal. Oh my God! Look at that Alpha. You She's look so, so good. Cute. You're amazing. <laughs> my most loyal of subjects. It seems everyone is caught up in surf mania. Several new spinoffs have been ordered, including Unpaid Labor with the Stars and The Real Surface of Monstropolis. <laughs> Magazine covers are now featuring the 100 hottest surfs. We have a waiting list for the size of Miranda's ego. That's the Kraken. Uh, that's the Kraken calling the octopus tentacled. But whatever. Nice. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Our business is making me even richer and even more notable than I was before. And it's all thanks to you. You may be a peasant, Roscoe, but in my eyes, you're a slightly less filthy peasant. That's a very cute face. <laughs> and you never thought you'd hear Miranda <laughs> say such a kind thing. She must really like you. Yeah! Miranda and Vera gave you the um, a cut of their success, earning you two money and one charm. I hate you so Here much. Here you go. Congratulations. I hate you so Where do you want to go? Uh, can you look at what each place is? Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, okay, so... I don't remember what all these are. Okay. Uh, boldness, uh, so boldness, charm, smarts, money, uh, uh, creativity, and fun. Okay, so I'm charming right now. I'm not very bold. Miranda seemed to need creativity, fun, and money? No, no, no. Charm? I think it's mostly creativity, charm, and money for her. Okay, so I'm doing... Fine, I just need to actually see her, which is the issue. Let's go, I do love being charming, but let's go to, um, uh, uh, it's hard, you really gotta pop this out. Let's go to the, um, theater. Okay. Huzzah! Here we go. Nice. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain two creativity! Yay. Wow, nine creativity so this early. creative. You spy Vera. Ugh, I don't like either of those people Too engaged bad. in their favorite <laughs> pastime. A variation of people watching called monster judging. Ugh, do you see what she's wearing? Newsflash. Lime green stripper boots do not go a sh Chupacabra. Chupacabra for her. At least she made a choice. I've already seen six people wearing the same Air Gorgon sneakers. We really are the luckiest ones, Liam. Most people are just absolutely hideous. But even by their hide but even their hideousness is mediocre. Most people are hideous, but I have yet to see one who is the most hideous. Wow. I wonder what such an abomination would even look like. Oh, uh, true hideousness is on the inside, in your organs. A person with their organs on their outside would be the most hideous. <laughs> a toned body, symmetrical face, nice features, because traditional beauty standards are hideously mainstream. All right, number one, that's definitely Vera. You're going for Vera? I yeah. just don't want to go for Lee. <laughs> totally fair. <laughs> Liam sucks so much. We had a good time, Liam, but I think you're out of this particular game. We just don't like you, Liam, is the thing. Ha! Huh, yes. I've always said that a person's insides could be even worse than their shell. A passing hermit crab dragon hybrid glares at her, but Vera doesn't seem to care. Was that just like a nice little anecdote? Yep, for it know? Like it's world building. <laughs> I mean, unkempt eyebrows are gross enough, but an unkempt esophagus? The mind reels. I will admit, as repulsive as I find most people, it would be hard for me to ignore an exposed circulatory system. And there's nothing more hideous than being drawn to repulsive people just because you're thirsty! Mm, I can relate. I've seen Polly drawn to some pretty repulsive lowlifes herself when she's thirsty. <laughs> Of course, that's a different kind of thirst, but the principle certainly holds. Ah, the innocent joy of bonding over mutual der derision of the appearance of others. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. I'm yeah, yeah. good for myself. You are. Your stats are looking nice. Fantastic. Okay, though. everybody chooses an object. Say your object out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um, I'm going to choose a a a a Claire. <laughs> I'm going to choose a lamp. Okay. Okay. Player order is decided based on how good the selected object would be uh, as your only weapon in battle in a battle royale situation. I would like to make an argument for the eclair. That, because I chose it, 
I'm the first one to go into Battle Royale anyway. And now I've gotten a Claire. <laughs> and I'm real happy with Santa Claire. But I think the question here is, <laughs> which will make you last the longest is in that, Battle Royale? Is that, is that based on how, how good, good the selected object be as your only weapon? And you, weapon! Yes, and an eclair is a good weapon. <laughs> I think it's good, but also yeah, Lamp probably was. Do you wanna do you wanna do random? Because that way, whether or not I get to Miranda first is left up to the seat of the the gods. Uh, this is true, I like random. <laughs> Damn it! Ah yes, thank god! <laughs> oh curses. Oh man, I was so scared. <laughs> oh and I can sit next to Hot Flame Boy. Okay, wait a second. Who are these other people? Okay, so the person in the upper left-hand corner is the shop, and the person in the lower right-hand corner I now know is a werewolf. Um, and we tried a couple of these solos. They usually give you really good stuff, but at the cost of a free point with somebody you want to go out but with. But you can date other people, right? I, yeah, Aren't but there secrets? in these cases, so far, and I've only played two more times, I want to be clear, but so far, sitting with somebody else at a table will give you a chance at some big stat boosts or some big money, um, but not necessarily as a way to advance their romance. That being said, I may go ahead and sit with Wolf Dude and see just, what happens. Yeah, just to see what happens. Yeah, because you're on you're on a blind adventure. Yeah, I'm going. I'm having an exploration. Um, bring me back to my babe. Yes, 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 there you go. yes, yes. Okay, I hope I hope she doesn't hate me. All right, you. I'm gonna flirt with her next time. Cool. Sounds good. Bye.